Hey guys, welcome to Nyonya Cooking. This video is a special one because it is in the playlist Breakfast in Malaysia. Now, if you are interested on the types of food that we have uh, during breakfast in Malaysia, remember to check out the link in the description box below and it will lead you to more recipes to the different type of food that we have during breakfast. Now, for this video, I'm going to show you how to create a very special kueh and it is very popular among Malaysians. If you go out uh, to the roadside, to those stalls, they will usually sell this kueh and it's also one of my favorite kueh. And this is how to prepare curry puff. I like to make uh, this one which is very simple and it uses potatoes uh, and I'm going to give you a few tricks to make sure that the curry pop that you create will be flaky and if you want to prepare this few weeks in advance you can even freeze it I'm going to give you tips on that too so let's look at the ingredients that we will need as I mentioned we will have potatoes as the filling and I've already diced them earlier so I have here onions which are already minced curry leaves just to add this aroma garlic and this is a bit of dried shrimps I've pounded them uh, earlier too and we will have a bit of curry powder now for the dough I'm just using plain flour which is just wheat flour and then oil with a bit of salt as well while waiting for the oil to really heat up we are going to mix the salt and also the flour together so it just mix it evenly now if you haven't tasted curry puff, it is very similar to samosa and I love samosa as well. So if you love samosa, you're a fan of samosa, you're going to love curry puff too. Once this is really mixed well, we are just going to create a well in between the flour and this is where we are going to pour in the hot oil. It wouldn't be wise to use your fingers to knead this dough right now. So we're going to let it cool down slightly. But as you can see, it's really difficult to make this up into a dough because it still crumbles so we can add a bit of cold water. Now remember to use really cold water. Now by doing so, this consistency of you know uh, the temperature of this hot oil and then using cold water, it comes together. So you have this dough that will turn to be very crispy when you fry it later on. You'll find that the dough is very much more manageable, so just knead it until it comes into a very smooth dough. So there you go, the dough is ready and we're going to leave it aside while we prepare the filling. So using the same pan that we used to heat up the oil earlier, I'm going to cook the potatoes. So let's begin with the onions and then garlic. Now that you can smell it, add the dried shrimps and curry powder. And also some curry leaves. You can of course use more oil to sauté the ingredients but I like to lessen the oil because curry puff by itself is really very sinful already. And now I'm going to add the potatoes. So I'm going to add a bit of water just to simmer the potatoes. Now the goal is really to cook the potatoes until they are already softened and then we can leave it aside for the filling. We are also going to add a bit of salt and sugar just to taste. Now once you see that this is almost dried up and the potatoes are soft, that means it's ready. So we're going to dish it out first. While waiting for the potatoes to cook earlier, I've already divided this dough into about 30 grams per ball and I left it in the fridge. Now when you keep, uh, when you put it in the fridge when it's chilled, then this dough is much more manageable. So before we flatten the dough, just dust your working table with a bit of flour. Now try to make it as uh, round as possible, but it doesn't need to be perfect really. Once it's flat, about 0.2 cm, we are going to fill it up. So I like to avoid having curry leaves in my curry puff, but if you like, you could also add it. And some people, they add eggs into it, so therefore the dough will be very much larger. So try and just press this up, bring the dough together. So all we are going to do now is to fold it up to create this pattern. Push down, pinch, 
push, pinch the top, push, pinch, and continue. So there you go, I've already shaped them here. Now if you want to freeze it, this is the time where you can freeze it. Freeze it like this on the plate but not together. And once it is frozen, then you can just put it into a uh, plastic bag or Tupperware and then you can just put them side by side. If you freeze it all together in the plastic bag at this um, texture, then the dough would stick together. So that's what you want to avoid. Now uh, we are going to fry this directly, so I'm going to deep fry it over here I've already heated up my pot with a bit of oil to test if the oil is ready just drop a bit of dough and the moment it comes up that means we can fry our curry puffs so we're going to just fry this until it's golden brown and then we're going to leave it up there you go, this curry puff is funny, golden brown and ready. Mmm. Oh wow. My god. If I may say, this curry puff is really to die for. Look at the flakiness of the dough. And then added to that, you have this taste of um, potatoes in curry uh, and it's soft. I love potatoes when they are soft. I love this recipe. You have to try them out. For those of you who are living abroad, you know you're going to love this. So try it out. And if you do try it, remember to take photos and upload them on yoyacooking.com and let's inspire others to cook these recipes as well. And while you're here, remember to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and also subscribe to Nyonya Cooking if you have not. Till then, I wish you happy cooking!